Hello and welcome to worship from my house to wherever you are. It's great to see you again today. Let's light our candles to show that worship has started. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. The Lord be with you. Amen. Today we're going to look at the final little part of the story of the wise men. And it's just one sentence long. And this is what it says in Matthew 2 verse 12. Then they returned to their country via another road, since God had warned them in a dream not to go back to King Herod. The wise men got to meet Jesus, the son of God. They must have been filled with such joy and amazement at seeing this amazing child who'd been promised so many thousands of years before. Look at this image that Primrose has painted of the wise men leaving to return home via a different route. I wonder what you notice about this image. I wonder if you notice the light shining out of the wise men. I wonder what you think that light might represent. What do I say each time I light the candles? Have a little think. I say as I light them, Jesus said, I am the light of the world and I bring light into the darkness. The light of Jesus shone into the lives of the wise men. So they were filled with his light. That's why they're glowing in the picture. They took this light and they passed it on to whoever they met. They told people about the amazing thing they'd seen when they met Mary and Joseph and Jesus. They passed that light of Jesus on. They were light bringers. They brought the light of Jesus into the lives of others. The Bible also tells us that Jesus said that people can be the light Two, they can be light bringers, shining God's light into the darkness. I wonder what it actually means to be a light bringer in practical terms. It's a doing word, isn't it? Bringer is a verb. What can you do to bring light into the lives of others? How might you be a bringer of light? Sit quietly now and be still and maybe look at the candles and the flame flickering and as you are still and quiet, think about how you might be a light bringer into the lives of others. Let's close this time of stillness with a prayer together. And I invite you now to join me in prayer. And if you want to make the prayer your own, you can say Amen at the end, which means I agree. Thank you, God, that the wise men were filled with the light of you. Thank you, God, that they then shared that light with others. Help us to be light bringers. Help us to bring light into the darkness that we may support and care and love others in the way that you did too. We thank you that your light brings light and hope into the darkness. And at the beginning of this year, we ask you, God, to bring your light into the dark places of our world, that people will be filled with love and joy and hope. We pray too for each other. We pray for our schools and our friends and our families, and we lift them up to you now. I ask you to continue to bless them and watch over them. We pray for our teachers in school and wherever they are, that you will look after them too. Amen. So keep sharing that light through all you do and say. Go in love, go in peace, go in joy. 
as you bring that light into the darkness wherever you go. Amen. Take care and have a good rest of the day.